In this video, we're going to simplify rational expressions, okay? And then we're going to state the domain of the expression as well, just for a little further practice on domain, okay? So the first thing we want to do, we want to treat these just like fractions, okay? Five tenths, uh, you can think of, well, five and ten are both divisible by five, so I can simplify that by dividing the numerator by five and getting one, and dividing the denominator by five and getting two, okay? So five tenths is a fractional expression here, but it can be simplified to one half. Same thing can happen with these, okay? We want to look for factors that maybe that they have in common so we can break those down and make them a little simpler, okay? So what you want to do is you want to try to factor the numerator if possible. You want to try to factor the denominator if possible, and then hopefully something will uh, cancel out. If not, at least we're factored and we'll be in simplest form, okay? So when we factor the numerator and denominator, we're going to factor out a GCF, okay? In the numerator, we can take out a 2, and we're left with x plus 3. In the denominator, we can take out a 3, and we're also left with x plus 3, okay? So these factors are the same, so those x plus 3s cancel out, okay? So when I simplify this expression, I get 2 thirds, okay? So now we want to talk about the domain. If at any time the domain could become 0 from the beginning step to the final step, we need to account for that in our domain, okay? So the denominator can only be 0 if this factor x plus 3 equals 0, okay? So that means negative 3 would make that factor 0 from our previous video. So negative 3 needs to be eliminated from our domain, okay? So 2 thirds as long as x does not equal negative 3, okay? All right, number seven, we want to factor the numerator. That's difference of squares. We want to factor the denominator. That's a quadratic trinomial that can be factored. So when I factor both numerator and denominator, I get x plus one, x minus one over x plus two, x minus one, okay? Now, what happens here, these two factors are the same. So those x minus ones can cancel out, okay? So my answer is going to be x plus one over x plus two. This expression in simplest form turns into this, okay? Now, when I account for the domain, negative 2 makes this factor 0, so that needs to be eliminated. Even though this factor was canceled out, it was there at some point in time, so I need to account for that in my domain also. So I'm also going to exclude 1 from the domain, okay? So the domain of this expression is all x such that x does not equal negative 2 or positive 1. A lot of times people forget that 1 because this canceled out, but it was there in the beginning, so I have to account for that. All right, pause the video, try to factor the numerator, try to factor the denominator, and simplify from there, okay? Take into account the domain. Okay, when I factor the numerator and denominator, I can take out a GCF of 3 in the numerator, I can take out a GCF of 6 in the denominator, and in parentheses, I have two trinomials here. Both look like they can be factored. So I have to factor one more step in each the numerator and the denominator, okay? So when I factor, I get, first off, 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 over 2. This trinomial factors to x plus 2, x minus 1. And this was a perfect square trinomial, which factors to x minus 1 to the second power, okay? Now... There's one x minus one factor here. There are two here, okay? So I'm gonna cancel out one of these with one of these, okay? Notice that one of these x minus ones is still there, okay? So my final answer then is going to be x plus two, that's all that's left in the numerator, over two times x minus one in the denominator, okay? There's only one value that needs to be excluded from my domain here. One, the value one, makes this factor zero. Nothing else would do that. Uh, throughout the problem, so my domain is going to be x does not equal 1. Every other value will work, okay? So that's how you simplify rational expressions.